Why fitness influencers are dying? It's time to stop being delusional. It's time to stop believing every single thing they say. And I want you to listen to what I say. Pay attention, take some notes, cherish what I say, or believe me, you are going to follow their exact path. The first and probably most important reason is the pressure to not only look good, but to look perfect. The pressure of comparing yourself to others, your career to others, of respecting expectations, it's a mandatory burden that every influencer has to endure. In a place where the competition is so fearsome like the fitness industry, oftentimes the only people who are going to win and stay relevant are those who are willing to reach crazy amounts of muscle, crazy definitions and produce the most insane and dangerous content ideas. I know this is an uncomfortable truth, your favorite fitness influencers are not gonna tell you this, but hey. I love you guys, I really want to help you, and it's the truth you have to remember. The second reason is the unsustainability of those exact routines. And this is also a mistake that they make. They think that pushing things to the extreme is always possible, because they build their brand around extreme challenges, insane transformations, and always pushing boundaries no matter what. They have to constantly pushing and promoting this idea, otherwise their place in the popularity spot is gonna be replaced by someone else. It's kinda like um, a self-fulfilling reinforcement cycle. Third reason is ignorance ignoring their personal health or cloud. They push to the extreme so much that they prioritize the visual aspects of their journey over their own well-being. They may even overlook signs of mental fatigue and burnout. Or they might even think that something as simple as taking a break will negatively influence their plans. And without saying any name, some of the most misleading influencers even tell you in their own videos that it's always possible to work out every day, sleep 6 hours a night, yay! That's all freaking bullshit. If you ignore your physical and mental health, you're going to lose your mind. I can't even believe that some people still don't understand this. How much you're productive and how much you grow in terms of physique and brand-wise is caused by these factors. And last but not least is believing and spreading the wrong message. When you unintentionally spread harmful messages to your followers and encourage extreme practices without emphasizing the importance of individual differences and encouraging, whenever possible, to seek professional help, this starts a cycle or should I say a trend of believing in routines that ultimately will end up in destroying your personal life. You see what I mean? Maybe these influencers it's all they knew when they first started out back then. And I guess that they still believe in this mindset. Trust me, it's very common and even more than you think. Bro, you have to put your health first before committing to unrealistic ideas. I get it, fitness can be inspiring and also make us addicted to get those results. But remember that fitness is a journey, not a destination. You don't know your genetic limit yet. You don't know how far you can truly push and it does not matter. If you don't make a living from social media, just avoid comparing yourself to others. Listen to your body and always focus on you. If you like this video, let me know by placing a thumbs up. Let's spread awareness about the importance of sustainable and responsible fitness practices. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Stay healthy. Peace out.